So we machine him these, these little reflector boards and I have to like pocket out the back and everything on it, which is pretty cool. Um, so that's just going on there and just so you'll see that running all its machining bits and pieces. There we go. I, like, I quite enjoy the drill. There we go. I'll let, I'll let that do that and I'll show you. Yeah. So what we have is we have our little bollard board, this one, and these all line up. If I can get it to line up, there we go, with all the LEDs on there. And initially I was doing it on here and going, well, why is that lining up? And I realised that was an old board. Oh yeah, here's the custom drill we had made to make the reflector portions. We've got backside facing there, which is super close to that chuck. And then um, there's going to be some milling now. Which again, gets very, very close. Well, actually is going inside the, the, uh, the chuck there. So hopefully now, this does what it's meant to do and um, spits out the part correctly. I'm going to move it the uh, speed button here, the yeah, speed knob, to make sure that it's uh, not going to absolutely ruin the machine. Here we go. So it comes forward, ejects it, pushes it out, blows it off, comes back, rolls that in something entirely new for me so this is like the bollard tube and it's the longest we've ever pulled out a part so after these machine cycles I'll show you that in a minute it's really interesting just on the outside here we're just turning this OD just to because we don't turn the whole length of the tube is to help match up the part to the part that screws in there got a bit of boring going on uh, we're gonna have an ID thread come in there there we go thread going on the inside of the tube so this is a really interesting bit so we grab the part and now we're going to open the left hand chuck and we're going to pull the tube out and we're going to pull it out 500 mil so I probably could go a lot faster than this um, and I should adjust the program now hopefully there's enough length in there that we can do that this is the tube pulled out all the way now the, the spindles have synced up and this is going to come in and drill some holes now. Um, so they're completely synced. So that rotation there is as it should be. And now we sync again and pie off. Whoop, can't see it. There we go. That is the net result. So this one is, or I'll open this one up. I think this is like the end of the tube now. Um, this one, so we have to do these manually one at a time because they're so big, you can't let that drop. And that is the bollard tube if it's 400mm tall. Now we go in the tumbler. So I try and get them spaced out, I don't really want them bashing into each other. Some nice deep milling going on with uh, this, the bollard top now. So we just had the uh, two and a half inch bar arrive so I could switch over and actually do those bits. Uh, rather than doing the, so the tube bits are done now. This is the tube pulled out all the way. Now the, the spindles have synced up and this is going to come in and drill some holes now. Um, so they're completely synced. So that rotation there is as it should be. Six mil depth of cut. And now we sink again and pie off. Whoop, got to it. There we go. Alright, next part, which is this. So there's threads on both sides. It's a bit of a bum clenchy moment when we uh, do this backside thread because it's super close to the subspindle chuck. But otherwise come out beautifully. So that will join these parts.
shattery. For anyone that saw my story yesterday, you see this last part was one that I designed and programmed and um, it came out really beautifully. That was six parts that had to be done. And there we go, that's the last bit for the bollard. So tomorrow I'll put the bollard together and you'll get to see how it actually all comes together.